Now, my focus is always on the sand out here. Like when, even when I'm hitting the golf ball, on chipping, on anything, I'm focused out here. Even if I'm looking at the ball, my thought process is always past it and through it. Okay, so here we go. Let's just hit this shot. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I hit that incredible right there. Now watch. Let's, let's bring the leaf back. Okay, there was the back of the ball. What do we see? Okay, ball was there. Divot starts right about here. And look where it goes all the way to. I mean, it's out here. Right. You know, and that's, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six inches past that ball, right? Now I really chased that one or I really compressed it. Right. But the low point of a swing with a seven iron of players in the tour is typically about four inches past the golf ball, lowest point, mm -hmm. okay? Now, you know, we get so hung up on the back of the ball as golfers. It becomes like a stop sign and a red light. And I want it to be literally an intersection or a freeway that we're just passing right through, okay? Yep. So that was just a good visual. You saw where that sand flew there. I want you to put your focus past the ball. There's a reason why every time I put a spot past the ball and I tell the golfer to hit it, mm -hmm. they always hit the ball first and then make the divot later. Yeah. Well, it's, it's your job to be, you know, I used to pick a spot sometimes so close to the ball, blade of grass, that when I got in there, it was in line with my spot. So, you know, for me, let's just say I was right here, you know, and, and there's, a spot in the, there's a spot in the sand right here. You know, let's say it's just this, this leaf right there, right? Well, shoot, that was the easiest thing in the world for me to do. I would just say, hey, I'm going to hit it right through that spot. Okay, didn't hit that well, hit it thin. But look at, hit it thin, hit my leaf, and it still went straight. And that's the reason why, you know, you're, you're typically going to see, you know, myself get a better result from having not only an idea of where I'm aiming with that spot, but also an idea of where the low point of my swing should be. I know it sounds so simple, but it helps so many people that it's worth talking about. Right. You know? Yep. Okay, so watch. Like, I, it's a guarantee. So get, get in here, move, move that thing back. And come on back here on some decent grass so we can see it. We'll put a little mark here, kind of right here where the low point is based upon you know, the ball right there. All right. Okay, put that ball forward, good. Now put your focus, you know, right here. Right. While you're doing these things. So shorter, shoulder down, hit back, and then swing through that spot. Yeah, pretty close, right? Yep. Yep, you can see that right there. Ball forward. Focus on that spot past the golf ball. Shorter and shoulder, and then past the ball. There we go. That was a really good one right there with the, with the divot. Thank you. Just, 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 just understanding where the low point of the swing should be for so many just really helps, you know. And I always tell people, um, for example, just the thin shot that I hit up there. There's a, there's a professional thin shot and there's an amateur thin shot. The amateur thin shot could be chunked or thin. The professional thin shot is the golfer who's descending so much on it that they just happen to hit it a couple grooves low on the club face. But it still typically flies pretty straight. You know that shot? Yep. Yeah, where it's like you're hitting down on it, but it just catches the ball a little bit too clean. Yeah, because the amateurs do this and hit a thing, but like the professionals do this and hit a thing. Exactly. And that's exactly what we try to get you guys away from because right. the golfer who's also this way, there's a reason why it's thin straight because it's it's that real stable club face because you're, you're always stabilizing the face going this way. Yep. You're not really stabilizing it going up that way, right. okay? Get that ball forward. <laughs> this, guy, this guy cracks me up. He's, he's been, hey, here's the funny thing. He's been able to get his shoulder down He's been able to get shorter at the top. He's more connected. His rhythm's good. His hands are in front of his body. He's staying in his posture, but he can't get his ball position an inch forward. <laughs> right, okay. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Stripe right. it. Control it. Here we go. Good. Now, here's the thing, dude. Listen, 
I'm okay with you having a minute if you hit a hair behind it because it's moving forward. It's going to no longer allow you to be doing this move to fight back. It's gonna, remember what I talked about in the last lesson? I, we had a last lesson. I know we talked about a plan moving forward. We're gonna, right. we really said we're gonna dig yeah. into the hips this time and really mm -hmm. get into that, really getting into the shot. But right. remember how I had you just releasing your head? Right, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, it's something to remember because it will give you a cleaner move through the golf ball it. and it will help you not get stuck at the point of impact, okay? Ooh, man. As soon as dad runs to the parking lot, how it always works with the players, the best shot of the day. <laughs> <laughs> it's always funny how that works out. These guys are great, I gotta tell them. Frank brings me one of these every single lesson. <laughs> and it's really good. I mean, I don't, you know, zero fat, zero sugar, zero calories. It's like sparkling water with a grape like flavor. He brings it to me every single lesson. It's so nice. He hands it to me right away. It's, it's the man. <laughs> I, I appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, listen, he sees me at like four o'clock on every every Friday, right? So yeah. it's like kind of end of the day. He's like, well, let's give coach some energy here, a little last second push, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, Frank. Oh, so pure. Those are golf swings right there. Let me get let me get some films while you're just striping it like that, because that is just like absolutely beautiful, dude. Thank you. Thirteen years old. I know. Wow. Wow. Dang, Frank. Man, who is this guy? Like, <laughs> this is a good golf swing, buddy. Thank you. Oof. Oh, yeah. Since you ran up to the parking lot, every shot, just like that. <laughs> yep. Is it good? It, it, it's really good. It's unbelievable, isn't it? it it's, it's better. It's better than I thought. I know. It's like, it's, it's, it's actually, at the end of the day, I'm telling you, it's like a little boost of energy, but at the same time, like, just really good. And it looked, it looked at it as, like, healthy for you, too. That's perfect ball position, perfect setup right there. And that's why the golf shot works out the way it does, right? Yep. But is it helping you to let your head go a little bit? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So why don't you tell the camera, like, tell, tell, tell our audience, like, wh what does that do for you? What does that feel like it do does for you? So every time when I, my heads do this, um, I let my body, whole body do, like, come on top of the ball. Right. And let me f um, just hit it really pure and then hit What's the, the old way? Tell them what the old way is. What do you, what do you typically oh, do? Oh, yeah. So I used to do this and then my whole body go up and then I start chucking this. And his head would like fall back, right? right it would kind yeah. of go back in this angle there, yeah. Yeah, now I started doing this and then hitting the divot in front of the ball instead of back of the ball. Right, so it's like we're, you know, like Justin Rose has explained this, like letting the right ear, like letting the right ear, you know, get down to the ball, like through impact, kind of like this, right? Right, so watch my head. You know what I mean? Right. And you can see how clean it is. It just gets way through there and, um, you know, prevents the club from getting stuck into the ground. I'm not the right ear to the ground guy as much as I am just, I always say, nose goes. That's right. always been our uh, little saying at Poor Zach Golf. And all that is is basically me saying, hey, I'm going to let my nose release with the club. At the point of impact, I'm going to let my nose go. Right. And I mean, to me, that just, it really, yep. that's, a, that's a nice thought, okay? Right. You know, it's, 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 it's like my mentor always taught me. I thought this was so cool. Met my mentor, Todd Stones. Um, unbelievable instructor and he always said you know there's certain sayings in golf that are sometimes debilitating to the golfer's success like yeah. like keep your head down sometimes yeah. it, it is is you know you see the golfer then get in there and chunk everything because it stalls their rotation because right. they're so focused with keeping their head down when really it's keeping your chest down right. you know it's your chest is staying down you're in your spine angle but you're constantly rotating right yeah. that's it's stuff like that that can really mess people up, you know? Right, yeah. And an example, like, for example, straight left arm. Sometimes I see that, you know, it helps some people to say that, like, oh, it should stay straight. But then they try to straighten it. It's like, well, the straight left arm is as a result of maintaining the width and the connection. Yep. Rather than just, you know, if you, if you stay here, you can't, you can't keep it straight, right? It's right. just awkward. Um, <clears throat> you know, that said, 
for the viewer out there thinking, well, why would you ever tell them, you know, look up? No, like it's, we're in our posture. We're rotating in our posture. That's why our hips are back and our chest is down, yep. but we're letting this go to have constant rotation. It's just me that I need to do this because I was doing that. And uh, then, right. Exactly. It's catered to you. Exactly. Yep. Um, Annika Sorenstam was one of the, she was, was the best woman player of all time. Um, yeah, she didn't do too bad letting that head go. Annika Sorenstam the best, the best ever. Best ever. David Duval is a good, very good golfer. Let that head go. Stenson does it to a small degree. And especially Charlie Woods. Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah. he always uses Yeah, that. he lets it, lets it go. Yeah, right. it's, it's a good call. Yeah. yeah. Nose goes. It makes sense. It does. Absolutely. It doesn't need to stay down. No, it needs to keep turning. One of my favorite swings on the planet. And we should all we should we should we should pull one up is uh, Jordan Nabrigi, um, old you know, Oklahoma State sensation, and uh, still a young guy, but playing the Oklahoma State team a while back. Here, let me let me pull up a a, a Jordan Nabrigi swing. It, th talk about maybe one of the not maybe, I would go as far as saying one of the maybe the coolest swing I've ever seen in my life. One of the best swings ever. Right. Look at this one. Zoom in on that, guys. <laughs> it's it, 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 I mean. It, I'm not gonna lie, I miss the days standing behind Neves and watching him hit golf balls all the time. So if Neves, if you're watching this, buddy, you're welcome back anytime. <laughs> he just stripes it, man. It's so fun to watch. It's just like, and, but but I always love that about Jordan. He's so in his spine angle, but his head. The minute that contact would happen, this right here would go with That's the club. Right. But this head never moved all the way through through that entire point. It just had a little bit of. So, so clean, yeah. so clean. Ooh, look at you. You gave it your best Neebs right there. <laughs> that, was kind of, that was pretty good, he did it justice. Thank you. Man, the viewer's probably jealous of Frank's divots down there, huh? Mm -hmm. Things are nice. I think you finally got it forward, yeah, it's really big. I feel like he's actually covering it now. Like, look how he's getting through it. Yeah. Good, Frank. Thank you. Much better. You want to, just for a little, do you want to get like a, like a, like a, what, what iron is that? Uh, nine. Get like a six. All right. Okay. Let's do six iron. The mistake that people make when they leave a lesson is, you know, the coach has them doing this for a while. And there's a reason why I haven't taken that off his, his, his butt the entire time. It's because the minute you do, you don't have that awareness of where it is. Right. And you know, as somebody who puts that behind them and hits golf balls, even doing it pretty well mm -hmm. and with my swing, I do it better when that's behind there. Right. I, and I just, I don't know why it is, right? Because you should just absolutely be tuned in to just doing the same thing better. Yep. But I, it's, for me, it's, I have to really focus harder to do it without it there. So my whole point is as many times as you can do it with it there, mm -hmm. It's gonna help you, and a lot of times people do it when the one-hour lesson with me, and they take off, and they remember what that was like, and they think, "Oh, I'm just gonna practice doing that without it." And I'm like, "It's not the same effect." So make sure this week, you know, grind it, grind gotcha. it. It's a six iron, Frank. So make sure the right. ball position's not where the nine iron is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. Good, buddy. That's much better. It's okay, dude. Well, that's the funny thing about it is, like, do you notice how under control it is right now? And that's still fast. That's a big six iron. That's beautiful right there, Frank. Yeah. Thank you. Beautiful. Big dude. He's the man. Give me a couple more really good ones. Oh, dang, Frank. All right. Hey, guys. Awesome day, right? Yep. That was a good day. We worked hard today. You worked hard today. Um, Gabe, you worked hard today. Everybody worked, worked hard today. But the big part was that, you know, for me, I like when, when you work on a few things mm -hmm. and we're trying to get it all at one time, um, which we've done a good job of pacing because you've had right. tournaments, but now it's like, hey, I'm going to throw it all at you. I told you I would in this lesson. Yep. All right, here it is. I like just breaking it down. Shoulder and shorter. Mm -hmm. We know the shoulder. Keeping the shoulder plane a little steeper. 
and being a little bit shorter with the arms. Right. That's big. Number two, we're gonna make sure the hips and the hands. The hips stay back and the hands get ahead, okay? Yep. Shoulder, shorter, hips and hands, yep. okay? And if you can work that with that drill, the X factor is gonna be the hands and the body staying, the sternum looking at the hands to the top of the swing. Just having that full right. big body turn, short arm swing, that will bring the hand path down the same spot yep. and prevent it from getting a little bit over, okay? Got it. All right, buddy, good stuff. Thank you so much. Yep, I killed it today. Thank you. Good job. All right, thanks, good day. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. Any questions or comments you have, please leave them below. Also, click the link below to pick up three free videos. We appreciate you guys. Enjoy our channel.